Hello everyone, John Manson here, and today I'm showing you the Sophos uh, endpoint protection that's available on the UTM appliance uh, that I've been covering in my latest videos. Now, um, the endpoint protection uh, software or a module is actually very, uh, it's a really awesome tool, especially that um, they've even made it available in the home edition, um, but uh, crucially, in the business environment, it is a must um, now. It's becoming a must as uh, more and more devices are being added to a network. Uh, it's very really important to have visibility as to what's going on on all those uh, devices, um, especially mobile devices lately, um, and to be able to manage them all. So. Um, the endpoint protection um, by default is turned off, so I've, I've just turned it on. And um, the first thing you'll notice is the tabs on the top. So uh, we'll go over to the deploy agent. Now the deploy agent is um, uh, is a tab where you can download the endpoint uh, endpoint protection software. Um, it comes in the in the download format, so you can either download the the exe and uh, go from computer to computer or you can send off the link to the specific users uh, so say uh, with the exe you can do like a gpo if you're using the active directory or um, you know with the link you can send uh, an email out to um, to users to install now i've skipped the installation part because it was uh, uh, straightforward on windows um, and uh, I've installed the software on my lab environment. Okay, so I've installed so the the Sophos, um, the endpoint security, and it comes with a antivirus, uh, anti spyware, um, you know the the normal stuff here. And now with this, once you have it installed, if you go over to manage computers. Um, you'll see that my the computer lab showed up okay and so um, if you click edit you can put a comment so um, I in this lab I put VP of sales so this is the vice president of sales so the reason why I did that is to illustrate um, the granularity um, of this so after uh, from now what we can do is uh, create certain groups um, so if you go over to manage groups, um, the, by default, you're going to have the default group. Now I've created two groups, one's called marketing, one's called sales. And the reason why I do that is because, uh, if I want to, uh, you know, if I want to control, uh, or give permissions for certain users, uh, which I'll show you in a, in a moment, uh, I can control which policy, uh, is those is governed uh, sorry, which policy is governing those particular devices? Okay, so now um, if you want to create another group, you can click new computers group and then you can put a name. So say tech support in this case, and then you have the antivirus policy, which by default will be basic protection device policy by default is full access and tamper protection is enabled to add computers to this group just click on the browse and you'll see lab if you can you drag and drop that particular computer over into the computer's container and hit save now you've created you successfully created a group now um, you may be wondering what where those policies are all about and I'll talk about that next so um, what we'll do is uh, actually before I begin this there's two sets of policies one for the antivirus and one to control the device so first we'll go over to antivirus and by default there will be the basic protection and the basic protection um, will cover about 99% of uh, cases Okay, now um, let's say you wanted to create a uh, another policy, um, but you want to enable scheduled main, uh, scheduled scanning. So you hit new policy. Now um, 
everything here is pretty much how you want it. It's just go scheduled scanning and hit enable. And you want to do rootkit scanning, low priority scan, and the time. So um, by default, after hours is not there, and I'll touch on that in a minute here. Uh, you have lunch, time of install, uh, time to install updates, weekend, and work hours. So if I select work hours and hit save, I've created a new policy, which will, which will be here. Okay, hold on. Yes, so which will be right here and you'll see work hours. I've created the other ones um, for testing. Okay, so now how do you define what work hours are? Okay, so to define that, go over to definitions and users, go over to time period definitions. And now, uh, for instance, I created the one called after hours. So after hours is anything after 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Monday to Friday okay so uh, you can change that to whatever you want in order to do that just click new time period definition and say for instance you can do after hours in my case two and then um, this is every day okay and the start time so say your business closes at 4 so 1600 and if it opens up at 8 a.m you can do up until say 7 a.m. just to make sure that or 759 so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and hit save and those are your after hours okay so I'll just delete that for now okay so now going back to the um, we're sorry. We're gonna go back to the device control now, and there's two policies uh, that are in by default: blocked all, so it uh, it blocks the access to floppy drives, optical drives, etc., etc., etc. Full access, or um, you may want to add something like you want the users to have access to wireless and Bluetooth. In order to do that, just like we did for the antivirus, click new policy, and then you can add um, the variables that you want. Um, you have the option for exceptions, and for exceptions, you can add um, you can add specific devices. So you would just hit add uh, edit and then you can allow specific things. All right. So now after you've done that, um, we'll go back to computer management and now go back to manage groups. So now that we've created our policies, uh, say we have in the sales department, okay, lab, my lab computer is in sales. So um, now we have the antivirus policy and I created one for sales and then device policy for sales. Okay. And then, so now that's how you add a specific policy to a group. Hit save. Okay. And now that's, uh, that's how you configure the policy settings for the groups and for the computer. Now you have web control. Now what web control is, is for roaming devices. So a laptop that may not necessarily always be on the LAN. So for instance, if uh, you know you have an employee that goes to Starbucks with a laptop, you want the same policies to exist. Um, so if you enable this, uh, you'll be able to, you, you'll be able to control uh, these policies will, will follow that user no matter where they go. Okay. All right, so now that that's done, let's go see what happens on the client side. 
Okay. So on the client side, if I go to something like download.com and let's say try to download a piece of software. But yet, a, a better, uh, faster, um, a faster explanation for this would be, um, let's say I tried to, uh, let's say I tried to use a uh, external uh, uh, USB stick. So I'm going to insert a USB stick. Okay, and then we'll say generic mouse okay so I've tried to, I've attempted to try to insert a uh, USB stick into the computer as you can see I don't have access to the USB stick now in if I go to endpoint protection here you'll see that an alert has come up. If I click on that alert, I'll find out that the use of a controlled device, in this case, a CD-ROM, okay, uh, was blocked. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so once, now we'll get alerts, and so we'll even get alerts for things uh, that are antivirus related. Okay, so if I go, let's say to uh, EI Car, which if you've seen uh, some of my other videos, is a website where we can test, uh, we can download test antivirus files. Okay, so we'll go over to the test section here. And try to test. All right, so we got a we we got a, a warning from Sophos. Okay, and actually, yeah, that's right. So that won't show up actually because that actually was blocked by the UTM before it even hit the um, before it even hit the uh, client. So what I'm going to try to do is for now I don't have the HTTPS inspector. So if I download off HTTPS, it'll hit the client and then I can scan. Okay, so I've downloaded the test file. Okay, it's detected a virus. Now if I go to alert.
hit well it took a minute for the alert to show up but now that hit alert we'll see uh, virus spyware uh, has been detected and um, that uh, that the status was that it was cleaned up okay so now when you, we acknowledge that alert the status goes to okay and so that's the overview of the Sophos uh, endpoint protection um, module for uh, their UTM device one other thing I can add is that uh, if you click open live log uh, like all the other plugins I've shown, uh, you'll be able to see uh, traffic and uh, details about uh, the communication between the clients and the UTM. So I hope the video was helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, seanmancini2010 at gmail.com. And you can visit my website, seanmancini.com. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.